Hello, everyone. Welcome to People on Dating. I'm your host, William Morales. And on today's topic, or today, the topic we're talking about is boundaries, which is either love boundaries, house boundaries, any type of boundaries that we have, especially as we get older. For those of you who have tuned into the show before, you know this is all about uh, people on dating. And we have another guest that's going to join us in about five seconds. That's Lucy. And here is Lucy. Thank you, Lucy, for joining us. We're about to start. And so for those of you who haven't tuned in, this is People on Dating. This is a, a topical conversation. We pick topics every week, and we get on, and we just talk about what our ups and downs is about dating. So you can find us on Facebook. You can find us on YouTube, which I'll say at the end. Anyway, let me say hello to my guests. First, I want to say hello to Jose, who, haven't, who hasn't been on yet. Jose, thank you for being on. How are you? I'm doing well. My pleasure. Thank you for having me on. Uh, I want to say hello to Lucy. Hi, Lucy. How are you? I'm great. How are you? It was great to see everybody. Definitely. I want to say hello to Noel. Hello. How is everyone? And last but not least, who got on first is Milagros. <laughs> Hi, Millie. How are you? I'm good. Happy to be with this group. I hope we can share some good information for your listeners. Well, I think we will. So anyway, um, so I want each of you guys, and I'll start with you, Jose, since this is the first time on. When it comes to boundaries, what does that mean to you? Um, boundaries simply to me means um, being able to set um, limits that you place pretty much to protect, um, you know, your well-being, right? Your whole way of, 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 of doing things. Um, you know, they have to be communicated, obviously, to uh, your partner, family, friends. Um, and you, you also have to be able to honestly share what consequences um, may, may exist if those boundaries are... are uh, violated in any um so that's i mean to me that's that's what boundaries are it's really pretty much just setting limits yeah uh lucy what do you what's your uh definition and your take on it i like what jose said and i think the part that i usually leave out is the consequence part so it can occur like a all um uh ultimatum instead of when you don't leave, when you, when you don't include the consequences and like the full communication, um, I also believe that it's communicating to others in a way that of what your choice is in the matter or what your likes and dislikes may be also yeah. are, are boundaries. Um, that doesn't mean that they have to like it or not like it, um, but it's good to communicate. It's very healthy to communicate likes and dislikes. Yeah, no, I agree. Millie, what's your take on boundaries? Well, I think there are stages to setting boundaries. You know, at the beginning of a relationship, it's pretty much a scenario where since you're both learning about each other, at, almost at a high level, um, critical to set just to make sure that relationship can actually even continue. It's critical to set those boundaries at the beginning. And everybody has boundaries, every single person. And what you find is that if you don't express yourself properly about, those, about what your boundaries are, you, um, that's one of the things that will end that relationship eventually. And, you know, and as the, re the relationship evolves, there's gonna be new boundaries that are gonna be imposed by both parties. And that's where, you know, again, it's just part of the ongoing communication between a couple um, where things that you find insulting, hurtful, um, unacceptable, any, any, any range it has to be communicated. And if the person is not accepting what those boundaries are, well, you know, that's like the beginning of the list as to, you know, why are you going to break up eventually? You know, one of many 20 items that you use uh, for that reason or somebody uses, you know, to break up with you. Right. But it's critical. There's always going to be something that you find unacceptable. And uh, I call it 
at the extreme is drawing the line in the sand. No more. And of course, this is just relationships. This is also in your life, your coworkers, your family members who tend to, you know, they can abuse your boundaries too. So putting into practice what you learn with your family, um, and then, you know, with a re in a relationship and putting it to practice at work. Um, it, it keeps you, it, you know, you, you have, your self-esteem can be elevated if you set boundaries and they're respected because it is a sign of respect to mm -hmm. listen, hear, and take action so that those boundaries are not crossed. I know. I like your take. Noelle, what's your take on boundaries? Well... Probably everybody who knows me in this group knows I probably have the biggest mouth. Um, I talk the most crap. Not, not but that's why we still love you, though. <laughs> not trash talk, but, um, and don't get me wrong, you will never hear me say, oh, I would never put up with that. Because 99% of the times I put up with that and more. So I would be the village idiot with the biggest mouth in the group. So I'm always with every relationship. My co-workers my children relationships i'm like okay i really mean it this time or else and then they cross the line i'm like okay hold on let's draw a new line this is this this time i really mean it <laughs> I, very bad time with i'm getting much better and i'm really 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 working on that is setting up the boundaries and not letting them go past that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I really, you know, I don't know if you know that about me, Jose, that I, I have a big mouth, but. <laughs> well, I no, I like everybody's take on, on boundaries. Now, one question I, I wanted to ask each and every one of you. Now, depending on the situation, whether it's love or whether it's your home or work, now are these boundaries are set in stone or do they expand? In other words, if you have, a, if you draw, as I say, a line in the sand, can that line be pushed back? Or it depends, does it depend on the situation? Does it depend on the person? Or does it, does it depend on, on, on how you feel? I think in my case, I can say one real quick thing. I am very gray. I am not black or white. So, you know, when a, when a boundary is broken, I'm like, oh, maybe they had a rough day. Maybe, you know, I'll find reasons why. And I tend to gravitate towards people who are very black and white, who are like, no, they broke the rules, end the story, go. And you're like, yeah, but maybe they didn't mean to, maybe they didn't really know the rules. And again, I'm not talking about men. I'm talking all relationships. Right. Maybe, maybe I really didn't articulate really well what the boundaries were, or where the line in the sands was. So. In my case, I, I would say, yeah, I keep drawing the damn line. <laughs> yeah. Jose, what do you think? Well, I mean, I, I guess it depends, right? So, I mean, I, I kind of, I, I agree with Noel. I don't think boundaries should ever be um, at, so rigid that they kind of constrict you to um, that particular issue. Unless, of course, that that issue happens to invade your body, your space, or, or your privacy, and you hold those things dear, right? So, you know, if if, if a partner is being um, abusive, right, shouting or, you know, uh, embarrassing you in public, right? Those are tolerances. Well, those are things we should never tolerate. Yeah, no, I agree. Right. So in a case like that, absolutely, you need to draw the line in the sand. Now, you know, in a case where I go out with my buddy, right, and I tell my girlfriend, you know what, babe, I'll be back at eight o'clock and it's 1030 and my girlfriend is calling me incessantly about where I am. I'm like, babe, I'm with my friend. We're having another extra beer. Chill. I'll be home. So in a case like that, you need to be, you know, you need to be flexible, right? You have to have some wiggle room. But uh, in other instances, I think it's, it's important to really be strict and to set that li line in the sand. Yeah, I think at the beginning of a relationship, like Millie suggested, um, I mean, all of you basically, you have to set it at the beginning. I think, you know, if you wait a few months or you wait, you know, 
half a year and all of a sudden, you know, you say certain, certain things. Well, no, no, I don't like doing that. Well, you never said anything at the beginning. Why are you saying it now? So all of a sudden now you're, now where is that line? So you just keep on pushing it back because you didn't set it at the beginning. And like you said, Jose, it's not set in stone, but I think at the beginning of a relationship, it has to be set. You know, um, I like doing this. I don't like doing that. You know, I prefer to stay home on these days or whatever. But if you don't, you don't get that out at the beginning of the relationship, or at least at the early stage where you're just friends and then it goes beyond that, um, then it's such a blurred line because you never set anything up at the beginning. You know, you waited so long to set your personal boundaries. They might tell you yours, but then all of a sudden you just listen, 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 but then you don't say anything about you, your boundaries. Right, I, I don't want to monopolize this, but it, it also has to do with knowing what your boundaries are, right? Mm -hmm. if, if you don't know what they are, you really can't start that process. Right. So you really have to do some introspection about what it is that you feel is important to you. No, oh, I, I agree 100%. Can I say something? Sure, of course. <laughs> so it's Lucy. You know, it's interesting, this conversation, because my experience has been, I think, and including me, 50% of people out there don't even know what boundaries are. It, it really takes someone that is looking inside of themselves to really bump into the concept of boundaries. I mean, they're always there, but it's not until we start maybe doing work on ourselves or are in the inquiry of what happened that we start to bump up against the idea that there are these things called boundaries that we can communicate. You know, that's a great point, uh, Lucy, because I think at the beginning, you know, and I'll talk about myself where there were some situations that happened that I never set that boundary. And then that person crosses the line, crosses the line, and then either I hesitate to say something because I don't want to ruin what we have going, but then at the same time, then I'm miserable because I never set the boundary, and then I'm, 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 I'm not my true self. All of a sudden, I'm like, why am I in this thing? And then after, you know, you, you, you know, the relationship ends, then you start reflecting, well, I should have said this, I should have said that, or, you know what, next time I know what to do. You always learn from your previous relationship and you hopefully you when you do go to the next one you learn from your past one and i and i agree i think not too many people know what the about their boundaries are they just keep on getting pushed back because they, either they don't want to lose that person that they're with or they're afraid to be alone and that's the to me that's the worst excuse to to not have a boundary because you're afraid to be alone all, a lot of us are alone. We have friends that could keep us company and could and could and could take that space. But the boundaries got to be set, like Millie said, at the beginning of our relationship. And like Jose said, you know, let's take a little uh, inventory of ourselves. Sometimes, though, it's not so much that you don't want to be alone. You're more like, is it a really big deal that he crossed that boundary, or you know? It's really not a big. You question yourself, like maybe it's really not that big of a deal that. You know, they did something that I didn't care for. Or I asked not to be done. Yeah, but then what you do in that situation, do you keep on letting them? Okay, I told you I'm the village idiot. So don't listen to what I say. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have a point. You have a point there because, Noel, like, I think that when couples are, or partners are in the quote unquote honeymoon stage, a lot of the boundaries get disregarded. Uh, you know, everything is great, everything is fabulous. So that really doesn't get discussed as much. Yeah. I, I mean, when you go on a first or second date, third, fourth, fifth date, are you talking about boundaries? Not, not at all. I know I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I think an, another really good question would be like, at what point do you introduce boundaries? Well, is, is that when you become, now you know that you're dating, that you're exclusively dating, then you set the boundaries at that particular time? Or, do, or like you said, do you set it before? But are you going to scare that person off? Well, you know, listen, on Sunday, yeah. I like to stay home and watch football. That's my boundary. One to eight o'clock. <laughs> well, that's good to know up front. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, it is, it is important to know up front, right? Those are, that's, that way at least the person knows what the expectations are. And they can either take it or leave it, right? 
I mean, that, that's the way it goes. Yeah, but, you're, but, spending, you're setting them up. Yeah, basically. Right. You are. I agree. I agree. So, so I, 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 I have an observation. I want, to, I want to hear what you have, the others have to say about this. So, one of, and then this is an important boundary for me, is, is what, I, what past lived, you know, a past living experience, right? So, a, a lot of people that I've dated, right, they want to know about my past right and, and 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 my question is well how, how does my past figure into this present relationship right because i should be able to say when i disclose and when i i divulge my past right that's my boundary because nobody in their right mind has a right as far as i'm concerned or even a duty as far as i'm concerned to to bear me open and become a therapist uh, to that individual. A relationship is not about a couch, okay? Well, if I want a couch, <laughs> I'll go see my therapist. So as far as I'm concerned, past life lives, unless, of course, it's something that perhaps threatens the relationship, right? Or that, you know, poses some kind of health risk. So if I have herpes, I should tell my partner, hey, you know what? I have herpes and I have to wear a condom, right? So that's different. But as far as my past relationship, no. It is up to me to disclose that. I I, I, I want to be. I, that's one of my red lines. No, and the thing is, is what is it that you know the person's looking to get out of you? Like, what is the point? Because <laughs> I don't. For me personally, I don't want to know about anyone's past. I don't want to know how many boyfriends she's had. I don't want to know uh, who she was in love with. Who was this? Who was that? I don't care because I'm, I'm with her now. That's what it counts. And the same, and it should be vice versa. It should be the same um, uh, courtesy to me. You know, why do you need to know? It's Chris Rock said that in one time in a bit. Why do you need how many girls, I mean, how many guys this girl's been with? You're not discovering anything new. And whatever number she gives you is too much for you. <laughs> <laughs> You know, because he said, two, two, two. I guess that's how he was raised, <laughs> you know. So I, I, that's, I agree with Jose, that boundary, I don't want to cross but both ways. Anyway, uh, for those of you who just tuned in, this is People on Dating. And today's topic seems like a hot button one. It's called Boundaries. I'm talking with Jose, Lucy, Milagros, and Noel. So, Millie, we haven't heard from you yet. So come on in. <laughs> no, you know. Uh, and the concept of boundaries is, you know, one of many that are important in a relationship. It's not, you know, it's not, it's a critical one, but I think that as someone said, we also need to be flexible, but not flexible to the point of um, losing ourselves or losing, or being, not being flexible or being flexible because we're in fear. Um, no relationship that you have that you're in fear of losing like that is worthwhile because that's that's not real we've all been in very real relationships and we know that that wasn't part of it at least at the beginning that you weren't afraid all the time of losing this person because you opened your mouth and expressed yourself um transparently um yeah, then you're not being setting yourself. boundaries yeah, yeah then you're not being yourself if you're doing that that you got to hold things back of yeah. being afraid to say something yeah. because you're like well, if I say this, they might get mad. So, you know, let me hold it. And then you're making yourself miserable and, um, <clears throat> excuse me, stress for no, for no, for no reason. Well, it's, if, it's, if you can't be honest about yourself, who you are, what you're willing to put into this relationship and set those particular <clears throat> boundaries, if you can't be honest, then that's, there's no longevity. There's no legs on this relationship. It's not going to last. No. Uh, you know, if you can't be that way at the beginning, forget it so it's a, you're wasting your time uh, better to you know walk away or be walked away from um because yeah, no, it had no <laughs> there was no longevity to it but that's why boundaries are so important because it's one of those things it affects so many different aspects of the relationship you know every interaction that we have is built around boundaries of things that we need to respect each other because it's about respect no, absolutely. Absolutely. Noel, what do you have to say? And please don't say that, uh, you, you know, you're, you're gray. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, Noel. You got something to say. 
No, you mute it. You mute yourself. Okay. As far as no, I'm just talking about boundaries and 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 the, and the and the conversations that we're having because it seems like some depending on who the person is, sometimes we move, might move that line back, or if we're not true to true to ourselves and we're worried about the other pe person's feelings and their boundaries more than ours, and what does that say about well, us? Definitely not a good sign. If you're more worried about them, then you're not headed into a good place with them. You can spend more time worrying about. If I say something, and at the end of the day, you're entitled to feel what you feel. You're, you know, so I could say something to you, you might not like it, as long as I say respect, you know, you should be able to at least acknowledge, okay, that's how you feel. It was not my intent or whatever the case. But once you're worried about it, I set up a boundary. And like I said, in, a lot of times in my case, more like, is it really a big deal? Is it? I've spent so much of my life arguing, you know, that now I'm just like, whatever. <laughs> and I'm saying, I'm saying, my kid, I'm just like, whatever, here, go, <laughs> whatever you want, type of thing. So, are we saying that the old is, get the true, true. Well, one really quick thing dating. True. So, I had an argument with someone. Not a disagreement. We saw things differently. And they're like, you know what? For now, I just choose we don't speak. We don't this. You don't, you don't contact me. And I said, okay. And I didn't contact them. And then they texted me like a week later. And we were talking. And I, he goes, and you didn't even contact me. I go, um, because you told me not to. I was respecting your boundaries. And he looked at me like, what the hell was that about? <laughs> <laughs> he set the boundaries and he forgot. <laughs> yeah, he was, he was me to break you know cut through the boundary and i was respecting what he said like okay you're upset with me right now i'll just let you have time to cool off and they were like you didn't even contact me you told me not to so even though people say things they themselves don't know what they want yeah well then uh, then you better get a list of boundaries that you want because uh, or I'm, yeah or at latins we're so used to and i'm saying latins because that's what we are and that's what i know as Latins, we don't have boundaries, whether it's family, it, we just, I'm going to win for that. I'm going to do it, you know, I don't care if that's what you want to hear. You know, we, we do a lot of times cross lines because um, that's just what you were used to. No, so true. So true. So true. We, like Lucy said, we don't even know our boundaries. And that's why we end up yes. crossing sometimes because we don't know. And, uh, you know, it's not from lack of respect. I, I think it's just not being, having fewer boundaries means that we expect people to have fewer boundaries. And, yeah. and that's a tough know. expectation to have. Mm -hmm. I, you know, listen, I, I, I think. Why? Quiet. Yeah, go ahead, Noah. Why is Jose so quiet? Oh. <laughs> Why is Jose so quiet? I'm not quiet. I'm just listening. It's no, okay you know, to listen. I, I mean, I love, but it's nice to hear another male's perspective as well. Like we've, I've gotten a lot of information out of you, Willie. A lot of things that, you know, I only thought women saw it that way. You've, you've opened my eyes to realize, like, oh, okay, guys see that as well as women do. So I would like, to, you know, I do appreciate listening to you and Jose's opinion. Just so, like in that case, if you tell someone you set up a boundary and they cross it, do you, do you find that endearing or does that piss you off even more? Well, it depends on it, what it is. Like, for instance, there was one guy, a friend of mine, and, and, and this is a, a, a friendship that goes back 30 years, and he crossed the line that usually I would cut anyone off. But because of our history, that line was pushed back. You know, okay. because I figured that was just a little saying. It was a joke. It was at my expense. And I took it. I wasn't happy with it because I felt embarrassed. But then I said to myself, okay, you know what? I just, I got to let it go because it's, this is a guy that I, you know, we've been through, you know, together uh, through thick and thin, as they say. So I, I pushed that boundary back. Usually I don't. Um, because there's boundaries that you have in your home, there's boundaries that you have, especially when, when you're in a relationship and there's boundaries at work. Now, the problem is how far, especially at work, which is so different because you're dealing with 
a few coworkers compared to a one-on-one -on -one relationship with your woman or man or whoever mm. it is. Again, I think, you know, do you scare, do, would someone be scared off if you set the boundaries right off the bat and on, on date one? What do you do? Do you wait to date three, four, and five to then get your boundaries oh, off? Definitely. You know, that's a tough one. Do, do you say it in, from day one? Okay, this is what I like. And, they'll, and the other person might say, well, I'm just thinking this is just one, you know, one day at a time. I'm not <laughs> looking for marriage now. So right. how, but how, I think, do you, how do you propose that? Can I suggest something that, because I've been working on my boundaries as well, but, and things I know in a relationship are, are constantly changing, like who you are in the beginning of a relationship. You may mm -hmm. not be in date three, five, or 10. You know, it just evolves very quickly. And your ideas and values and beliefs evolve as well. And I think it's the way you communicate your boundaries is what matters. Like mm -hmm. to have a full conversation about it instead mm -hmm. of a FYI conversation, you know, like, oh, you did this and I don't like that. Um, instead, kind of like, you know, invest in a relationship and find time to speak and, and, and discuss it. I don't know. Right. I think that's a great point, Lucy. It, it, it's how people communicate, right? So, especially when it comes to boundaries, um, you know, it, it's always important to speak in the I. So for instance, you know, if you're talking to me and you say to me, hey, Jose, I would prefer if your friend calls before he just suddenly shows up at 10 o'clock at night would be really important to me rather than, you know what, Jose, you need to talk to Sam and tell that mother <laughs> F that he can't come here at 11 o'clock at night. See, there's a difference in tone, right? Yeah, I'm going to respect that kind of a conversation versus, you know, menacing and threatening and, and those kinds of terms. They're not necessarily in a relationship like that. But I do want to add one thing about um, uh, what's important to discuss up front. I think there's so many areas of boundaries that we could talk about. There's family, there's money, there's relationships, there's sex. Uh, you name it, there's, you got it. I think it's important to start off kind of like small boundaries are and then maybe lead up to sex because if you you're in your first date and you want to talk about your sexual boundaries i mean that's gonna be <laughs> i think that's uh uh you better prepare yourself for a conversation like that on date one the first date no? i think it's a ball buster <laughs> <laughs> good one lucy good one <laughs> well listen um we're about to uh run out of time so i just want to ask you guys one question each and 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 so i'll go with jose since she started it when do you set the boundaries let's say for personal when it comes to a relationship do you wait when do you start it for you when does jose start that boundary it starts on on, on the first on day one but again it doesn't have to be you know um like i mentioned this um uh this conversation everything evolves like lucy said right your relationship evolves right things change over time i mean yeah. you do want to basically begin a conversation about boundary but you want to start out small steps right before you get to the larger more important questions of boundaries so that's that's how i would uh, that's it's, my it's a matter of tone of voice too you know you can give people terrible news and it's just the way you express yourself and it's, you know, and there's lots of extremes between being direct and clear, you know, angry, affronted. There's just so many nice ways of saying things in a way so that, you know what, this is how I feel and hi papito, this is how I feel. Let's work together. Yeah. You say you call a guy papito when you're telling him about boundaries, he's putty. You know, I'm, my point is you can say it nicely in a, that constructive way that shows I'm interested in pursuing this and let's work together on, on these, on these boundaries and, uh, and, you know, and make it something that, so that we can work out work we can work through it easily. And don't forget to call him Papito. 
<laughs> Lucy, <laughs> what would what would your definition be of a boundary at the beginning? Do you do you start right off the bat, or do you wait a few dates? Maybe talk to them on the phone before you set those boundaries, or at least at the beginning, do you set maybe small boundaries and work your way up? Oh, you on silent? You on mute? Here I am. Okay. So I, one of the other important aspects of communicating your boundaries is timing. Absolutely. So, you know, like you may not like what's happening on date one. I mean, in my experience, like I have this rule for myself, my boundary. I go out with somebody who I am interested in for five dates. And on the five date, on the fifth date, if I'm really not interested, then I drop them because it's been my experience where they've, they were great on date one, not so, so on great on date two, on day three, they were amazing. And on date four, like, you know, they're, they're as nervous as we are. Of and, course. and so they're all over the place. And so I just wait, that's my rule until date five, if we get to date five, but unless they haven't been rude or said something that has turned me off, you know, and have good table manners, no L. <laughs> and then, and then, and then it'll be okay. Shoes, the shoes. <laughs> the shoes. <laughs> and, uh, well, good so, point. Yeah. No, but for me, it's mostly timing, you know, and, and if you want to talk to anybody, it's not about dropping the bomb right there and then it's timing about everything, you know? Yeah. And, Perfect. and yeah, that's what I have to say. All right. Uh, Noel? I think exactly what Lucy said. Timing is everything. Um, because bringing up a subject beforehand, they might be thinking, bitch, I ain't going on another date with you. So <laughs> you're, you know, you're <laughs> all these rules and regulations and thinking, I don't know why you're wasting your time telling me. So I think it's, you know, um, like, you know, to tell somebody, I don't like when somebody late, I don't like to be held up. I don't like this. And I think it's overwhelming. Just if it happens, like, oh, can you do, Poppy? Can you do me a favor, baby? Can you please not be late, or at least let me? Know. Thank you, my love. I appreciate that. Well, it, listen, that type of talk will we will, will be melted in your hands. So yes, I, mm -hmm. I like that. Mm. Anyway, guys, <laughs> I want to thank Jose, Millie, Noel, and Lucy for today's topic on boundaries. This is People on Dating. You can find us on Facebook. It's People on Dating YouTube show. Uh, definitely please subscribe, join us, have a have a have fun with us because the, these topics are definitely good. And uh, um, for those of you who heard the show, leave your comments. Tell us what you think. Tell us what boundaries are for you. Anyway, guys, I appreciate it. Again, Jose, Millie, Lucy, Noel, thank you so much. Thank you, Willie. Bye. Thank Peace you, Willie. Bye bye. Take care. Well, everyone, what did you think about today's topic, boundaries? Do you set up boundaries at the beginning of a relationship? Do you wait a little while before you set your boundaries? Interesting topic again. Leave your comments below on our YouTube page. Also, please go to our Facebook page, which is called People on Dating YouTube Show. Uh, I'm always looking for great guests. So if you want to be a guest on, please go to peopleondating at gmail.com. Please let us know uh, when you want to be on the show, what topic you want to talk about, and we'll gladly have you on. Anyway, I want to thank uh, Lucy, Jose, Noel, and Millie for being on today's show. Uh, like I said, it was an interesting topic. Again, it's about boundaries. Think about it. When do you set yours up? Anyway, guys, on behalf of People on Dating, my name is Willie Morales. Until next time, thanks, everybody. Have a great day, and please stay safe. Bye.